Uh, let me see. There's a question from Jan. How do you, in your opinion, best identify sector rotation, i.e. out of tech into materials, etc.? Jan, I don't look at that at all. Um, I just look at what companies are cheap on the screener, cheapest on the screener, and I start buying them. Obviously, I generally keep in mind that I don't want to put all of my money into lumber stocks, for example, just say, you know, that they're all coming in cheap on the screener. So um, I don't buy too many companies in one sector, but that's also the other reason why I generally buy a few companies every month, just like we recommend in the newsletter, because each month, you know, if there was something that maybe a lot of oil service companies were cheap this month, then we'll pick up one or two maybe in the newsletter, but we won't pick up six oil service companies. And the next month, because of momentum, or maybe there were quarterly reports, a whole group of other companies will be cheap. And generally, it won't be the same ones that came up in the, you know, the previous time or the previous quarter in the screener. And that generally keeps me out of any specific sector, but I don't have a sector um, rotation um, idea or strategy at all. I know there was that, there was that one, I think it was Merrill Lynch, there's a wheel or something that they put together saying, if you're in what's, um, what um, part of the economy, of the economy. If the economy is just recovering, if it's at the top, then you generally move from this sector to the other one, but it's not something that I look at.